Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Lakers predicted to lose $36 million star in free agency. The Los Angeles Lakers have limited flexibility with what they can do with their roster and two of the starters from last season, D'Angelo Russell and LeBron James, both have player options. It appears that James and the Lakers have a mutual interest in him coming back, but it's less clear what's happening with Russell. The former All-Star guard is coming off a strong regular season but struggled in the playoffs. However, he was likely good enough last season to earn a raise over the two-year, $36 million contract the Lakers gave him last offseason. Zach Buckley of Bleacher Report is predicting Russell to decline his player option and leave in free agency. Prior to that postseason skid, though, the former number two pick played some of the best basketball of his career, Buckley wrote in a June 20th column. That felt significant, too. When offense-needy shoppers look to spruce up their attacks this summer, they'll all take note of his torrid play once the calendar flipped to 2024, 20.4 points per game on 45-42.6-85.7 shooting from January to April. Perhaps those numbers won't net him a salary richer than his $18.7 million player option, but they could certainly fetch him something with a similar pay rate over multiple years. He seems likely to land a deal with contract terms the Lakers won't want to pay. It's going to be difficult for a contending team to pay Russell big money. His playoff struggles are undeniable at this point. He averages 17.8 points a game on 43% shooting in the regular season, but drops to 14.8 points per game on 38.8% shooting in the playoffs. He'd make the most sense for a team like the San Antonio Spurs. They have a generational talent in Victor Wimbanyama, but the team isn't close to contending quite yet. Russell would provide the team with some scoring outside of Wimbanyama. The Orlando Magic could also make sense. They made the playoffs last season but could use a veteran scorer like Russell. It's hard to see a great team wanting to pay the guard, but there are good teams that could use his help. Russell was the Lakers' starting point guard last season, so if he leaves, the team will have an opening at the position. Chris Paul would be the most obvious fit if the Golden State Warriors released him. He's 39 but is still a very good distributor. He's not the scorer that Russell is, but he's a far better passer. The Lakers could also look to trade for a player like Trey Young. He has some of the same issues that Russell has as a defender, but he's a more prolific scorer and has proven that he can be an effective playoff performer. Kyle Lowry would make sense. Similar to Paul, he's very old, 38, but can still be an effective distributor. He'd likely come in on a minimum contract, so the Lakers could try to pair him with a young point guard. The team should bring in a young point guard, but it looks like their options could be limited to aging veterans. Reactions to the J.J. Redick hire The Los Angeles Lakers have hired Duke legend J.J. Redick as head coach despite his lack of any coaching experience and needless to say, the decision has led to much debate and discussion. The great Dick Vitale posted on X Thursday, saying that he had a lot of respect for Redick and thought that it would be a good idea if he hired some experienced assistants, among his candidates apparently is former NBA head coach Scott Brooks. He's also considering Ray John Rondo, a former NBA player who gets a lot of respect for his basketball smarts and former Florida State player and longtime NBA guard Sam Castle, who is also widely respected. Reddick's college coach, Mike Krzyzewski, had some strong comments in Reddick's defense, saying this, he understands the game, he understands the guys playing the game, where you have empathy for every other player, and he understands people. He develops trusting relationships with people. When he says something, there's no BS. It's the truth. If a player trusts you, and you can tell him the truth the whole time, you're going to have a better player playing for you. He knows the game, he knows how to teach the game and he, will, know how to surround himself with complimentary coaches. He's smart enough to know he's not going to do it alone, so you're going to have not just outstanding players, but outstanding assistants. 
he will build a culture that's conducive to winning and going for it on a day-to-day -day basis. There is more in this article from Mike Cragg, Chris Collins, and former Tar Heel John Henson. Kendrick Perkins thinks that the Reddick hire could lead Anthony Davis to demand a trade and that wouldn't necessarily be all bad. Davis is 31 and has a checkered injury history. Moving him now for picks might get solid assets for a diminishing return that the Lakers could build a new future on. One NBA analyst proposed that the Los Angeles Lakers acquire LaMelo Ball from the Charlotte Hornets this offseason. Dan Favale of Bleacher Report proposed the following trade idea between the Lakers and Hornets, Los Angeles Lakers receive, LaMelo Ball Charlotte Hornets receive, Rue Hakimura, Jalen Huchifino, Gabe Vincent, number 17 pick, 2025 second round pick, most favorable from Lakers or Clippers, 2026 first round swap, 2027 second round pick, 2028 first round swap, 2029 first round pick, unprotected, 2030 second round pick, 2031 first round pick, top one protection, turns into 2031 second rounder if not conveyed, the Lakers hired J.J. Redick as their new head coach. Redick is signing a four-year deal worth in the neighborhood of $8 million per season. One of the best shooters in NBA history, Redick has yet to coach above the youth level. He played 15 years in the NBA with the Orlando Magic, Milwaukee Bucks, Los Angeles Clippers, Philadelphia 76ers, New Orleans Pelicans, and Dallas Mavericks. The promise of ball shooting, vision, and contrived anarchy on the break and how it all fits beside LeBron James, player option, and Anthony Davis is enough to get the Lakers looking beyond the risks, Favale wrote. This is a move that weaponizes their present and constructs a sturdy bridge into the future. And no, LA shouldn't quibble about surrendering so much draft equity when it's keeping Austin Reeves. The Lakers lost to the Denver Nuggets in the first round of the 2024 playoffs in five games. Meanwhile, the Hornets missed the postseason for the eighth straight season. Ball only played in 22 games this season due to a right ankle injury. He averaged 23.9 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 8.0 assists while shooting 43.3% from the field, 35.5% from beyond the arc and 86.5% from the free-throw line. The Hornets drafted Ball with the third overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Ball has career averages of 20.0 points, 6.2 rebounds, and 7.4 assists. He won the 2020-21 Rookie of the Year award and made the 2022 All-Star team. Ball signed a five-year, $204 million extension with the Hornets last summer. He will make $35.3 million next season. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of LaMelo Ball? Leave your opinion in the comments.